In this video, I'll show you how to take advantage of a neat feature called Google Alerts and use it to get free traffic to your channel, blog, or website. I'll also show you a few actionable ways you can use these alerts as a productive business tool. I'll then go over how to set up your first Google Alert with a live walkthrough. Google Alerts is a content change detection and notification service. When it's data crawling bots detect new web pages that contain your designated keyword, Word, it will send you an email notification based on your chosen frequency, which can be as it happens, once a day, or once a week. And fun fact, the guy who originally conceived of the idea, Naga Kataru, is now an almond farmer. The system is not perfect and has been known to have some problems in the past, but it continues to be a worthwhile service and something that early entrepreneurs can take advantage of when trying to get more eyes in front of their product. These are a few actionable ways to use Google Alerts for your business. One, find unlinked mentions of your brand or name and then contact them. Companies will often mention your brand but forget to link back to your website. Backlinks matter for two reasons. They improve your website SEO ranking. More quality backlinks means a higher ranking in the search results, but they also help people navigate the web. And Google likes when things are connected. If your brand name is hyperlinked back to your website, it's easier for the reader to find and reach you. So find results that don't have a link back to your website, contact the site owner and get that thing changed. Number two, find negative reviews of your business and rectify the problem to get that fixed. By adding colon review at the end of your search term, you'll find results that match written reviews in web articles or blogs. You can monitor these results to see which ones are negative and which ones are positive. For the negative ones, get in touch with the critic and ask if there's anything you can do to change their opinion or fix fix the underlying issue. They may just take down the review or update it with a more positive spin, which looks great for your business. Number three, watch over your competitors. Getting up-to-date information on your competitors can give you insight into the direction they are heading in, which you can then beat them to the punch. You also see which internet marketing strategies they are using to grow their business, whether it be guest blog posting or buying backlinks. As a bonus, if a website is linking to your competitor's website, they'll probably be open to linking to yours as well. So find these web pages and make sure that your name is mentioned alongside your competitors. Number four, find guest article posting opportunities. There are clever ways that you can find guest posting opportunities by using Google Alerts, and it's all from manipulating the results. Search your topic plus the phrase write for us or become a contributor or any common phrase that websites would use to find content writers. You can also passively search for the phrase this is a guest post by, which shows you that they are open to the idea of guest posters writing articles for their website. If you do guest post, make sure that links back to your website are shown at the beginning of the article and not at the end. You don't want readers dropping off before they have a chance to check out what you have to offer. Number five, find and answer questions in your niche. Answering industry related questions can help to establish yourself as an expert in your field. In turn, this helps to build trust amongst potential customers customers. In another video, I've shown how to do this in Quora, and they have their own internal notification system. But for other websites, it can be a bit more tricky. Using Google Alerts can solve this problem. Just create an alert for the niche topic of interest, the form or community board you'll want to monitor. Just a quick note that this does generally work for the entire web, but not quite as well for specific forms. Okay, and you'll also want to add in any possible keyword terms that would indicate a question. So for example, topic, plus site colon the form name dot com and in the title search for who what when why where and how you will then be alerted to new form threads about your chosen topic all you have to do is jump in and answer any questions that make sense for your business and be sure to link back to your website number six find out when your competitors are publishing blog posts so you can easily set up an alert to see when a new post is published on a monitored blog just find the URL for their blog and post it in the alert. So sites colon your competitor's website slash blog will show new results from that website. When your competitors publish blogs, you should post one too. Take their topic and spin it to sound like your own. And lastly, if you're an online course creator, an ebook writer, or a film producer, you can use Google Alerts to monitor when your content is being put illegally on torrent websites. 
Just use your product name plus common keywords like torrent, download, or stream and get notified when websites elicit your content for free and make the appropriate copyright notice actions so it gets taken down immediately. To create a new Google alert, first go to google.com slash alerts. In the box at the top, enter a topic you want to follow. Let's write NBA All-Star Game and you'll see that the results have been filtered below. This is an example of what you'd get as a notification. Now we're going to click show options and choose how often you'll get alert notifications, the types of sites you'll see in the results, news, blogs, websites, videos, or books, your language, the part of the world you'll want info from, the types of results you'll want to see, either all results or only the best ones, and where to get the alerts. Your logged in account email address is selected by default. After that, click create alert and you'll now get emails whenever they find matching search results for your terms. There are a few ways to refine your search criteria in order to improve your alert results. Don't just search for keywords. Instead, add quotes around the keyword in order to search for specific phrases. For example, writing Yahoo News in quotation marks finds mentions of that news website. Without quotes, pages that include any combination of the two words, Yahoo or News, will display. This will give you a whole bunch of results that don't match what you're looking for. You can also place a hyphen in front of the term to exclude alert results with that term. Say we want to look at pages that talk about Yahoo News, but to exclude Fox News. For that, we'd write hyphen Fox News in quotation marks. And limit your search to a single domain with the site colon term. For example, site colon yahoo.com will monitor and display only the best results from the yahoo.com website. I hope this helps and let me know in the comments below how you use Google Alerts to improve your business.